Hi, I'm Dr. Sajit Rantunga. I'm a general and colorectal surgeon. I'm currently working at National Trauma Center, Colombo. I have my personal interest of uh, laparoscopic surgery. Where I do practice uh, laparoscopic colorectal surgery and uh, laparoscopic hernia. And uh, laparoscopic col uh, cholecystectomies are my uh, favorite areas. And I do practice at Burns Hospital where I have already done a couple of uh, uh, laparoscopic surgery via, which has quite successful. So I would like to continue my service in General and uh, Burns Hospital. Uh, today, uh, we would like to discuss about uh, Boston's disease, uh, which is which has some controversies of management. So, uh, yes, it is a common disease, especially in uh, women of their uh, 40s and 50s. And uh, it's estimated about 9%, that is uh, 1 in uh, 11 women uh, will have Boston disease without any symptoms. And uh, certain percentage of uh, uh, patients will uh, later develop their symptoms uh, such as uh, pain on upper abdomen and uh, sometimes they have just bloated abdomen and uh, dyspeptic symptoms uh, and they might present with complications as well like such as infection of gall bladder, pancreatitis and small bowel obstruction with dislodged gallstones. Yes, uh, actually, uh, unfortunately, in my opinion, uh, in Sri Lanka, we uh, do see a complicated uh, situation of uh, Goldstone's disease, probably because of delayed diagnosis. Uh, if we see uh, causes for delayed diagnosis, main reason I would uh, see here is we tend to diagnose uh, symptoms which are related to uh, Goldstone disease, such as bloated abdomen, fat food intolerance and uh, other minor pain as gastritis which is treated uh, separately where patient will present with uh, delayed uh, complication such as infection and other thing when the patient knows that they have both stones but they tend to see other traditional treatment where they try to dissolve uh, stones, but most of them are unsuccessful. Apart from that, this is sad part is sometimes you get uh, two different uh, opinions from physicians or surgeons, where people tend to uh, believe that surgery might not be a, a better option. In cases of infection of cold bladder, uh, that depending on the duration of the symptoms, we offer the treatment. So, uh, current guideline says definitely if they present with, within the three days of the symptoms onset, then they can go for surgery without any uh, complications uh, like if they wait for the antibiotic and late surgery. But in case if patient comes within the seven days, if there is an expert available, then they can go ahead with surgery even if it is after three days. But there they should, you should be careful that person who is handling the patient should be able to manage. Or other, other schools of thought is to delay, treat with antibiotic and then have the surgery later. But always you have to be careful that there should be no blockage to the bile duct and jaw only. So we will investigate the patient and depending on the treatment will be given. As I said before, as long as uh, patient, uh, person who is handling the patient is conversant with uh, keyhole surgery, that is laparoscopic surgery, then there is no difference between having surgery early with infection or having surgery delayed, uh, late surgery. I would suggest patients to be vigilant on their symptoms 